natural fibers wool silk asbestos hey look out oh just a bee looking for water and food mm, unlike fleas that suck our blood for food yes fleas which is the hair from merino sheep is used to produce wool leading wool producing countries include australia china usa new zealand argentina turkey united kingdom and sudan South Africa and Kenya also produces good quality wool. Wow, what a twist. I know what you will say next. And that is wool is suitable for making warm clothing and blankets. That's correct. Since they are good preservers of heat. Besides, wool has natural 3D crimp that makes it warm always. It is non-flammable, meaning it won't catch fire easily. No wonder people are covered in blankets when their clothes are on fire. Hmm. Okay, sorry to take you back a bit. Okay. What's a 3D crimp? It means ship's wool naturally curls or turns into wavy shapes, making it retain as much warmth as possible. But since wool is highly elastic and resilient, it therefore does not wrinkle or crease which is good i guess i will not fancy walking in wrinkled pants that's right wool also felts easily felting means that wool fibers match together when pressed to produce a smooth surface and finally wool is highly absorbent uh would you consider that good or a bad quality bad because it makes it difficult to wash suit yourself other bad properties are wool shrinks and pulls out of shape easily it is also prone to attack and damage by moths and alkalis and should always be aired in shaded areas away from direct sunlight why because wool turns yellow when exposed to sunlight well that's news to me tell me something new about uses of wool and fabric apart from making blankets right it can also be used to make blazers mm -hmm. overalls carpets sweating materials and knitwear nice examples of woolen fabrics include tweed mohair gabardine whip cord serge and worsted and that's more greek i warned you at the beginning but put it down in pen and paper then you'll get it right besides wikipedia is a reliable source fine you mentioned silk is produced from worms how intriguing it's called thirst for knowledge that is what you are up to little man all right Silk is a fine, strong and soft fiber produced by silkworms. It is then used to build up cocoons of silk larva which are then collected to make thread and fabric. You need advanced and sophisticated technology to extract silk fiber from the worms. Some silk producing countries of the world include China, India, Japan, Italy and South Korea. Uh, and I guess you need a lot of these worms to make something tangible out of them. That must cost a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Nice reference. I guess it is the quality of silk that is worth the risk of spending large amounts of capitals to produce it. For instance, silk is very strong, lustrous, that is bright and shiny, it is elastic, which makes it crease resistant and drapes well. Plus, it is warm, non-flammable, resistant to mildew, fungi and moth, as well as highly absorbent with high affinity for dye stuffs. High affinity for dye who? Dye stuffs. It means silk fabrics hold on to dyes quite easily and readily. Wow. You are gifted. Well read is the word boy. 
I take that as a compliment anyway. On the other hand, silk is easily damaged by high temperatures, acids in bases, and becomes weak when exposed to long hours of sunlight. Which will not change my mind about silk fabric. You have made me like them the most. Mm -hmm. I guess they are the best suited to make dresses, shirts, blouses, furnishings, neckties, as well as scarves. I can't agree more. And taffeta, chiffon, brocade, velvet, satin, crepe de chine, faille are some of the examples of silk fabrics. I won't say. <laughs> say what? Greek. <laughs> you just did. The last of the natural fibers we will discuss is, is jute. Nope. Asbestos. Oh. For jute, why don't you make it your own homework? Okay. Asbestos is a metamorphic mineral that is extracted from rocks of the earth. It is then woven into fabric or can be used to make fireproof vests as well as construction materials. Major producers of asbestos are Russia, China, Brazil, and Kazakhstan. China produces everything like they are the superpowers. Chinese are industrious people, no doubt. What makes asbestos valuable materials for making fabrics is that it is non-flammable, meaning it does not catch fire quite easily. Mm. It is also resistant to chemicals, moths, and mildew. Is that why it's suitable for making fireproof jackets? Exactly. Plus, it is best option for making theater curtains, insulators in manufacturing electrical appliances, as well as in building and construction. Uh, a good example of asbestos fabric is chrysotile. Wow. With the terminologies, Miss Lupita, mm -hmm. don't you think I need a break <laughs> to take it all in? Fine. You have 10 minutes after which we cross over to artificial fabrics. I'll get some snacks from the canteen. Sawa, sawa. <laughs> 